That's the maintenance free Varta, which I'm trying to open. Unfortunately, this cover covers the cells right away. There is there's no extra plugs or whatever. Battery. That's a shame. Because some of them, you, you rip that cover off and there are other plastic plugs underneath, but not with this one. This one is about three years old and it just died. One cell is down and I was suspecting there's not enough water in it. So what I probably do is just drilling holes and check the water level. I can always use it for the shop here, so if it's any good. I was hoping this comes off, but it does not. It's I don't know if that's visible. That's right into the into the cell here. I just want to figure out why it failed. So yeah, I think I do that. It looks like there are some water reclaiming channels here, but it didn't work out in the cheap because the um, it's very hot in the engine bay, and I thought it was evaporating water through these vent holes here. So let's carry on with that. Uh, by the way, don't do this at home. It's pretty dangerous. It's acid and it burns your fingers and your clothes and everything. And uh, obviously you shouldn't have that in your eyes. And wear safety glasses for all your safety nuts out there. Just take appropriate precaution if you mess around with batteries. Again, don't do this, don't do this at home. Especially if you don't know what you're doing. So we started to drill some holes. I'm already, I'm already through this one here. And I try not to drill for the first time. to make sure I'm not Maybe it's just to make sure there's not too much of this garbage ending in there. Just cleaning up the mess a little bit here. is a good idea so what we what we're trying to figure out now is what's what's the actual fluid level here Get rid of these tools now. 
And if you play with the uh, batteries, always keep keep some water handy, just in case you spill yourself and uh, yeah. So we're looking into one after the other and find out what the uh, level is. That's above. That's above as well. That as well. That's good as well. So that's interesting. None of the cells are actually low on water or no on fluid. Um, so the battery is actually dead. I was thinking um, that just some water evaporated over time. So this battery is just dead, which is a shame. It does work. If you charge it, it holds charge for probably about half an hour and then you can see one cell drops down. Um, At the moment it says 12 volts, but if I if I load it, so this is close on this side. If I turn everything off, so no load at all. Don't worry about the voltage. That's reading garbage here. But even with 50 amps, it's not enough to get anything out of here. That's down to 10 volts now and it was fully charged. So that was 50 amps for probably about 10 seconds. Um, and down to 10 volts means one cell is lazy, uh, which is a shame. It's a quality product. Well, at least I bought it as a quality product. And uh, yeah, not much you can do about it. I've got a new one already, same, because it's the only one I can get here with the positive on this side which again is a, a thing for the cheap and um, the size is just right died after just about three years it's a so-called maintenance free battery um, but apparently in a cheap they're not quite main it's very hot in the engine bay and um, so battery is losing water here and I think that's the issue so we're gonna open the old one up and uh, see if you're right or not okay so that's going to the scrapyard nothing we can fix here Unfortunately. Again, don't do, this, don't do this at home if you don't know what you're doing. Battery acid is very dangerous. It will hurt you. Wear safety glasses and if you've got sensitive hands, wear gloves as well. Um, I'm okay with that. Um, because I just can't work with gloves. With gloves. So, Shane would be a nice shop at three, but it's not. Well, if there would just be water missing or fluid missing, you could try to top up the cells via small holes here. Um, the plastic 
drill stuff should not affect uh, functionality as long as it's clean and there is no water, no normal water or nothing contaminated. Be careful the drill is clean, no metal dross on it. And um, so that would be a possibility to top it up. But obviously you can't use it in the car anymore because it will just spill. But for shop use, as I hear, use some batteries, it would be fine. I saw other batteries where you could actually pinch that top cover off and there were some plastic plugs underneath. But it's certainly not the case with this one here. Um, maybe just a few pennies saved there. Don't know. So we're gonna tape it up and take it to the scrapyard. Should be good enough. Don't forget to clean the drill and oil it because it's got some acid on it. So otherwise it might rust. That's it from the battery. Nothing more to say here. Till next time.